turn and door. Let's uh, push through the centre. Let's get the knight out. Let's bishop out. Knight. Castle. And happy as we can be. Let's just attack the bishop. Take the bishop. And what does that knight want to do? Not a right lot at the moment. So they'll be looking to push, push, get the bishop out. Let's push this pawn here. And yeah, small potato moves now. Let's just bring the rook here. All right, so nothing's happening. They're looking to really challenge here, but we're comfortable. I'm gonna hit the knight, see what it wants to do. Exactly, didn't want to be there, did it? Let's hit this pawn, see if we can up make some space. I don't think they'll take, I think we'll have to take. Well, we don't have to take, but we will take. And we will take the rook. And we'll attack the queen, but they won't exchange. They'll sit there looking for that. Oh, they're not doing that. So they're taking their knight all the way to the back. No, they've actually brought the rook across. So this pawn's got no protection on. And that was done for a valid reason, to get them to focus on this pawn, in reality. So, let's have a look. Could move the rook. Could bring the knight down. No, not there. Get the bishop into the Fianchetto position. Options and choices. Which ones do we want to play with? Which is going to be best? They're going to be wanting to champion this. Obviously, the rook's not coming here at the minute. He does have a dark square bishop. How are they going to get to this pawn? Hmm. Questions, questions. How am I going to feel? How am I going to feel? I want to move this knight really. We could attack this pawn. I think what we're going to do is go on the attack. I think that's better. Let's just keep attacking. Get some dishevelment going. They might not take. They don't really look like a taker. But they surprised me with the captures they've made. Up to a point. Like I said, this pawn's got no protection. They'll be hunting it. We're attacking the bishop and the pawn. Yes, so that's pretty straightforward. So they've gone on the defensive. Which might be a good thing for us. We could get the bishop here. x ray through and through. That might work for us. But I think this pawn's going to push. What else is there? I think we're going to just bring the bishop here. And x ray through and through. To the rook. And then we'll attack the pawn. Obviously, I don't think it will take, but um, probably push. Just taking that moment to pause. We know what our weakness is. We also know that they have to work to get towards it. Was waiting for this, but we're going to push the pawn, like we said. I didn't really think they were going to take, but they have taken. So, still x-raying through and through to the rook. We don't have any support for our rook and it's in the centre of the board. Oh, and they've gone for an exchange. Well, that's all. I didn't think they'd do that either. Is the table different then, at all, in any way, shape? Because we've got two pieces on this pawn. So, we could just take and then take, tack the bishop and take the bishop. So momentarily plus, oh, and they've resigned. Let's have a look to see if it was resignable. Hmm, minus two, it's not bad. We were working towards it. We got a plus one, felt nice with the position. Yeah, good game.